What's up guys, PJ's here, thanks for tuning in. I'm kind of going to fly through this video, I'm working it backwards, I'm pre-recording uh, some videos to put together towards the end of this. I want to show you a couple of issues I had with the orange uh, HK Silverado, 83 Silverado. Um, if you guys don't know which one I'm talking about, I mean this one. You guys know that uh, I do base swaps on all my 83 Silverados. And I ran into a little issue with it, so stay tuned for the end of the video. Um, I'll turn around the camera and show you guys some close-ups of uh, some tips and whatnot. If, you, if you're going to base swap that orange 83 Silverado, uh, just a quick tip that I uh, figured I'd share with you guys. So, um, Also hit a fresh uh, H-Case dump bin. And here's what I got. I got a Corvette C C7R. Uh, really sweet casting. I really like that casting. Really nice. Uh, probably do a wheel swap and, and re-blister that. Um, grab me another 62 Chevy. Uh, I do have a couple of those. Another 52 Chevy. Lots of Chevys. Love it. Digging it. And then the Studebaker Champ. Whoops. Uh, nice little cool truck. Uh, probably use that bed cover. Uh, big shout out to Hot Wheels by Mo, I think is his name on Instagram. Uh, he does base swaps on his, I mean, uh, base swaps, bed cover swaps on his uh, Datsun Bluebird wagons. Really, really cool. He chops the back of it off, puts that on there. It's really nice. I may give it a try. Um, I'll definitely give a shout out to him too. I don't know if he watches my videos, but whatever. <laughs> Apparently Mattel watches my videos because they're trying to screw me on my 83 Silverados. I'll show you why though. Uh, anyways, found a half-naked uh, 63 Studebaker Champ, really clean, all the tampos are on top of it, uh, nothing, clear as day on the side of it, nothing, absolutely nothing. This one stuck out like a sore thumb, um, probably was a few more errors in the bin, but I don't, I don't have an eye for that. Matt slycor has got an eye for it, but this one sticks out like a sore thumb, and it looks really clean, uh, all blue and everything, so... Slide cord, hit me up if you ever watch this video. Uh, let me know if you're interested in that. Really cool. I like that Studebaker. Um, and then on to... I uh, got a couple of regular treasure hunts. I've picked up four of them. Uh, fast gassing regular treasure hunts. Don't think there's any errors there. Uh, left, uh, I think, three or four for the next guy. More fast gassing treasure hunts. Picked up four. Uh, really cool casting. Eh, it's okay. <laughs> uh, but it's a treasure hunt. And then I picked up uh, some supers. There's the first super. This is the regular one, just to compare it. If you guys are out there hunting and you're not aware of what a super looks like, uh, that's the regular main line. And that's the super right there. This one's already going to a buddy of mine. It's got a loose corner. He's going to crack it right open, probably on video, hopefully. Huh? Huh? Stay tuned to his video. Uh, if you're subscribed to me, you're probably subscribed to him, but uh, his name is Max to the Future. He makes really good videos, so uh, Max knows he's getting this one. Uh, you guys make sure to stay tuned to his video. He'll crack that puppy open on camera. Or not. You just crack it and display it. It's a nice piece. Um, I like it. And I picked up uh, three more. Ba bam <laughs> Really cool. Come on, Mopar Matt. Bam! Anyway, really cool to have uh, three of them. I want to show you guys uh, one thing on this one I picked up. That's a brand new protector or something. This one uh, looks like it's got some car damage. Looks like it's been wrecked. If you see the side of it right there. So uh, Mattel's not doing too good of a, a job on their quality control. Because that one um, looks pretty well thrashed. Like it got in a car swipe or something. Mike and Terrace King just showed one of his. I think his had a little residue. So... Maybe him and mine kind of were next to each other on the machine or whatever. Smashing. <laughs> really cool. Um, so it's kind of a super paint error, I guess you could say. Um, I got two more to go with it. Um, so I don't know. Let's see, this one's going to 
Max to the future. This one's going to me. This one's an error. And I'll probably take this one uh, somewhere this weekend and trade it. So stay tuned for that. Hopefully I get some good stuff. It's a brand new super. Um, pretty popular. Um, but yeah, let me know. Let me know what you guys think about that super paint error. Pretty cool. If you collect errors and whatnot. Oh, here, here's something I do have for trade. Maybe you guys can help me out real quick. You guys are familiar with the Auto World Chase piece. Uh, Christine, this is the Chase piece. Uh, kind of a metallic ruby red. And I looked around for the regular one, but it's actually like a... I mean, the regular one is like really red. Um, this one's a Chase piece. And then... Uh, but it comes in this nice clamshell, right? Well, this one... Is a different card with no clamshell so you guys uh, you can see that the top of this doesn't have like an, a little elbow there's no cardboard in there but this one does so I don't know if they're re-releasing this piece um, they are both released two card looks identical um, but nevertheless still a chase piece and still really really cool uh, this one will be up for trade uh, so let me guy let me know if you guys are interested in this uh, Auto World Chase piece, Christine. Uh, really sought after piece, that's for sure. Uh, really nice piece, though. Happy to have two. If I don't trade it, if I do, uh, just hit me up. Send me a message down below. Post a comment or hit me up on Instagram. Uh, same name as here, PBAJ1972. Or you can always always uh, send me an email or shoot me a text if if you are interested in that Auto World Chase piece, Christine. Stay tuned. I'm going to upload, uh, tag some videos along to the end of this, and uh, give, you, give you guys some quick tips on base swapping an 83 Silverado. Peace. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great week. All right, what's up, guys? So um, you guys know that I lift my Silverados. Um, this will be, I think, number 14 or number 15. Um, but I ran into a little issue with this new um, HK Silverado that I wanted to share with you guys um, when you guys go to customize this Silverado right here um, if you plan on jacking it up it's gonna be a little tricky <laughs> and here's why so I've already taken I've already drilled these apart and I have the uh, uh, couple of cases ago uh, this, this yellow one to show you for reference too. And then here is the off-road one, uh, which came out last year. There's a difference. This orange Silverado has some new, uh, new features on it. I guess you can say it's been retooled. And let me get a pointer. Here we go. So um, this is the Silverado from a couple of cases ago. This is the orange one that just came out, and this is the off-road one. Uh, when I do my base swaps, it normally goes together pretty well, and I like to transfer the interior into the new casting um, so I can use the old interior on this Silverado, just uh, OCD like that, I guess. Anyways, here is what I found out. If you look closely at this front end right here where these pieces are, you can see right on this orange piece, there's a little um, extra material, I guess, that uh, Mattel decided to put in there from st to try to stop me from doing <laughs> off-road Silverados. <laughs> you see that? Let's try to zoom in on it. Right there. there. It's hard to do this. Right there, there's a new piece of metal that stops the interior from coming all the way down. So I'm either gonna have to file this down or file out the interior, but uh, just wanted to give you guys a heads up. There's a new tooling on this Silverado. Um, here's the old one, 83 Silverado. And you can see there's no, uh, it's all flat on the inside right there. And same thing with the off-road Silverado too. It's all flat on the inside. For whatever reason, Mattel has decided to put a new piece of metal right there on the inside to uh, 
to try to make it more difficult for me to do off-road uh, off road Silverado swaps, <laughs> base swaps. So I uh, just want to give you guys a heads up. Um, stay tuned, and uh, I'll show you the progress in this video. I'll merge a bunch of videos together for you guys, so stay tuned. What's up, guys? I'm back. I figured I'd give you a little update on the progress. So you can see from the inside right there, I've actually had to uh, take the grinder on the Dremel and just uh, kind of file, file out those metal pieces. There's a better angle right there. So there were some metal etches uh, coming up the side of those other little pieces of metal right there. I don't know the proper terminology, but you get the idea. <laughs> uh, shaved them down. So now that whenever I uh, put the window in, and then uh, we'll put the interior. This is the off-road interior. Um, and it sits flush on the front end. It goes all the way down, slides run down, right down. Uh, those metal pieces that Mattel had put in there on this casting has stopped it from uh, going down. So maybe they're watching my videos. <laughs> trying to stop me from doing off-road off base swaps. Uh, so now that when you put it all together, uh, we'll pause the video real quick. And there she is, all nicely put together. So this was the off-road Silverado. I haven't screwed it together. I always have future plans for some of these uh, beds like this one. This is the wheel swap that I showed you guys the other day. <clears throat> but anyways, here's the orange one. Uh, all put together. Rolls really, really nice. Um, all the work is nice and clean. It's got the rivets in the bottom. Uh, very, very nice. And then here's the other one that I had to put back together. But I wanted to disassemble this one just so you guys could see the difference. So I uh, hope that helps you guys out. If you guys plan to do uh, base swaps on 83 Silverados, uh, this one's a little bit tricky. Um, pay attention to those forks on the under, on the inside of this casting, and, and you should be good to go. Good luck, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video.